This video will demonstrate how to create and configure social media wireless LANs using the Unleashed Browser user interface. Social media wireless LANs allow guest users to access the internet using a social media account instead of using a WPA password or guest pass to log in. This avoids configuring and managing one or more wireless LANs. Typically, social media login is used by guests, so it makes sense to add social media login under guest wireless LANs instead of having a separate wireless LAN for guests while the guest wireless LAN may already exist. The purpose for social media logins is that Unleashed allows the creation of the social media login that steer a guest who logs in with their social media credentials to be redirected to one of the following, a Facebook Wi-Fi business page, Google Analytics, LinkedIn company pages, or Microsoft APIs. The result is that it helps the business owner to attract and reach more people, promote the company brand and marketing opportunities, and gathers analytics on website traffic. To configure a social media network, I would go to Wi-Fi Networks. I would click on Create, and I would give the wireless LAN a name. I'm going to call this Social Media Wi-Fi. So that'll be the name of my social media wireless LAN. I'm going to select social media, and the authentication method is open. We're not going to use WPA2 since they'll be using their social media to log on. And next is my social media logins. I have Facebook, Google, LinkedIn, and Microsoft. If I tick the Facebook Wi-Fi, here I would previously had to have configured a Facebook Wi-Fi business page. So I'm going to untick that one since I don't have that one right now. If I click on Google and I don't tick the use my own client ID, then I would just log in with my Google username and password. If I click on use my own client ID, here I would have a Google client ID that would be a Google Analytics business page and a client password for that. So I'm going to untick that one. If I clicked on LinkedIn, same thing. There I have a business page for my LinkedIn account and password. And the same thing would be the case for Microsoft. Since I haven't created a business page for Facebook, LinkedIn, or Microsoft, I'm just going to leave Google ticked, and then I'm going to click OK. And that'll go ahead and create the wireless LAN. And after a short while, the wireless LAN will be created. So if I go down to my SSIDs, and I search for that SSID I just created, which was Social Media Wi-Fi, I click on that, and I will connect to it. Now, if I open up another tab, I'll come to the login page. So I'm a guest. I've walked into a business. They have a social login set up for Google. And so if I click on that, it'll ask me to log in with my Google account. And I'm going to log in with JP for Better Wi-Fi. And then I'll be redirected to the Internet, and I can browse the websites that I want to browse. And now if I go back to my clients, I scroll down. You'll see under here that my Lenovo PC, which is on the R600, the wireless LAN is social media Wi-Fi, and you'll see that it is authorized, and the authentication method is Google and Google+. So that's all there is to it to create and configure a social media wireless LAN using the Unleashed Browser user interface.